Hello, everyone. Uh, here, Martha with Quality Driven Software, and I wanted to show you the new HR feature that we are releasing. So we did push this at the conference, but we rushed it and there were some bugs. So you all have been asking when it's coming out and we flushed out most of the bugs. Um, I'm sure there's a few things we're still going to find. So if you'll go and navigate to my account, then you will come to a screen that looks like this under HR permissions. You will see that there are two different types of roles, administrator and system admin. Both of those are defaulted to all. And so typically the owner is the system administrator and they're going to see everything. And then your administrator, you can have multiple administrators. Those typically are people in the office, maybe a field manager, etc. And you can define what you want them to be able to see. So if you say can see own information, that means if you happen to write your office manager up, their administrator, they're going to be able to see their own disciplinary procedure. So, you know, um, nothing wrong with that, but just know that. All right. Next, you're going to go down here and set up your disciplinary programs. Get familiar with a few things. Um, each of them have a polarity. And all that means is eventually we'll assign points to these things and they'll either be a positive or a negative points. Also know that under type, we have a little bit of everything right now. And so you're going to want to disable some of these things. For instance, just thinking of future, some of these are positive polarity and therefore when we build out uh, bonuses and then some of them are related to the client, like client lockout, client last minute schedule, etc. cetera. Uh, then the rest of them that you see active, are the disciplinary programs that I'm going to define. So when I go to define a disciplinary program, you know, you pick the ones that you care about, those will remain active. And then you're going to go and say how many you want them to have. All right. So in this instance, you can see that there's one verbal warning allowed and then a total of four more written warnings allowed. So in total, they can get five warnings in a biannual period. Now, every time frame is a rolling time frame, meaning you're looking back that many days. So biannual, looking back, I think it's 183 days. I remember 180 weekly would be the last seven days, monthly last 30 quarterly last 90. Um, it might be give or take a day, but you get the idea. All right. So you go in to find this. Now think of level one as a minor slap on the wrist. So not a big deal. You need to define how many would be considered not a big deal. And one is going to be verbal. And then how many written would you want in that level? And level one equals a green color. All right. So they have some warnings, but not a big deal yet. Level two is a yellow color. And that is a moderate issue. So if your employee was in level two for breakage, they would have three total warnings and it's starting to be a big deal. Um, what I care about are yellows level two and reds yellow level three. That's what I care about. And in a minute, those colors are going to make more sense to you. So you, you're just going to define how many for level one, how many for level two, 
and how many for level three? And keep in mind, these are cumulative. So they have to go through all the levels. It's not like they get two warnings and they're automatically in level three. No, to get in level three, they would have had to have one verbal, one written in level one, another written in level two. So a total of three, when they get to the fourth one, they're now in level three. Okay. So you can play with the time frames and do whatever. Know that this also, you can start with something. And if you need to make changes, you certainly can. But one important thing, we're going to add another save button, but do not forget to save your work. Okay. So I have already asked for a pop-up window if you leave it because it doesn't show up immediately and you may forget to save your work. Another thing you need to know on this screen is if you have a complaint type that you don't see anything already there um, as a default, then you can add it. All right. And you can define it. Okay. So I've already saved it. I'll save it again. All right, so I'm going to go into the HR module. And this is the issues list that you're used to seeing. That's always been there. This is the new issue button that you're used to seeing. OK, but we have changed that up a little bit. All right. And then this is new. This is employee issues report. This will be think of your employee report that has all of your um, all of your scores and um, response rate and ranking and so forth. It's similar design. So this is going to show all your employees and it's going to show the level that they're at. So it'll have their name. And then in the top right hand corner, that is their highest level of warning for anything. And it, to the right, it's listing out where they're at with the particular issues. Like these two people, they don't have any disciplinary issues. Okay. So anyway, that is what you're looking at. Then um, on each pillbox, that's what that's called. It will allow you to hover and then see what the issues are related to that warning level. So this shows that this person, Martha Test, has had four warnings within whatever time period you set up in that HR settings screen. And it has put them in the red warning level. Okay. Um, I can hover here and see why I'm in green, et cetera. All right. But I want to show you something kind of cool. So you see how Martha test is in green right now, providing everything works right the way it should. And I think it should. Um, I'm going to add another breakage for Martha test. So I'm going to go here, Martha test. And you see how, when I clicked on Martha test, it, populated what that employee has for all their disciplinary issues. It shows you, well, I'm about to enter a breakage. And right now that employee is in green. I'll go enter breakage, which is at the top. And then you can see that it's going to automatically, because of what I set up, it's going to automatically pre-populate that employee into level two and it's written. The only time that you can do a verbal warning is on that very first warning. Um, and that's if you set it up that way, you could have set up that you're going to allow three in the level one category and you could do it then. But once you leave that level one category, you're not going to see the option for verbal. Now, if you wanted to over, like document only, you sure can. 
but we do suggest this is to keep you honest and to keep you following your own policies. And so you really do want to assign a level to it so that you know where they are as far as the severity of that issue. Okay. Now, eventually the employee is going to be able to see this if you give them permission to, but they will not be able to see the office notes. We will add another section that says employee visible notes or something like that. And so you may want to jot some notes so the employee knows why they got a breakage or whatever, but office notes are going to be those internal notes to the managers that gives a little more information. So I could go ahead and put mm, broke. <laughs> uh, let's see, faucet handle. Having trouble with that one. I'm going to say it costs a hundred. Now you don't have to put that in there. It's optional. I like to track it personally, and then I'm going to save it. All right. So now I see that Martha test is now in yellow. So anyway, I hope you're as thrilled with the start of the HR module as I am and just get in there, move all of your HR issues into QDS, start testing it out. It's the only way you're going to be able to build it out and build it out well. So anyway, um, now, as far as the, if, for the new plans, I do want to show you this. So on the new plans, which the new plans do include, all of them include the culture first membership, as well as SMS is included in the intermediate and the enterprise plan. Okay. And you can see that you get more surveys. And I'm mentioning that because some of you that are on the higher plans right now and use SMS, and especially if you're in the culture first membership, this is a better deal for you. So make sure to look at this. Um, but for anybody that's new or just considering joining, then this HR module is included on all of these plans. So if you are joining and you just want the starter, you still get culture first and you still get the HR module. What you don't get is the weekly admin reports, which are coming and you do not get the SMS that's not included in that. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to show you that and um, I hope you love it as much as I love it. And these colors will become your friend. It'll be a quick guide to know where your employees are in the disciplinary process at a glance. All right. Thank you so much.